Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a pick a card reading on how does your person feel about you, okay? Um, guys, I am going to be doing it more on like romantic feelings and kind of more of um, emotional feelings, okay? So this could be a number of people. This could be someone you currently are in a relationship with, okay? It could also be someone that you possibly have a crush on, okay? It could be someone that you just think is cute, okay? Okay. Or it could be someone that you've been flirting with for a while or talking with and you're just kind of wondering where is the connection going? How do they feel about me? You know, and kind of what is going to be their next move or just kind of, you know, what do they feel towards me? You know, what do they want out of this connection? I am going to be shuffling on camera today. That is just what I was guided to do. So we have three different decks that you can intuitively choose. Okay. Deck number one, I'll just show it to you, is the Tarot in Wonderland. Okay. It's this one. So meditate on it, see which one you're guided to, okay? The second deck, okay, or the second pile, is the just the original regular Rider weight Tarot. And then the last one is, I believe, called the Trip and Weight Tarot deck, okay? It's this beautiful rainbow one, super beautiful, super pretty. I hope you can see it, okay? So I'm just gonna label them as pile one, two, and three. Right now, you can go ahead and pause the video, you know, meditate on it, ask your spirit guides to guide you to the pile that um, is meant for you. Um, but we will go ahead and get started with deck number one. Okay, hi everybody that chose deck or pile number one. Okay, this is the Tarot in Wonderland deck and we are just going to be seeing how does your person feel about you, deck number one. Okay, so... Spirit, how does deck number one's person feel about them? Okay, so I'm just going to shuffle on camera. Okay, we're gonna shuffle some cards and see how your person feels about you, okay? I also do have some romance cards that I am also gonna pull along with the tarot. Okay, so let's see. How does deck number one's person feel about them? How does deck number one's person feel? towards them and about them. How does deck number one's person feel? Okay, let's see. How does deck number one's person feel about them? How does deck number one's person feel? How does deck number one's person feel? Okay, deck number one. I'm immediately kind of picking up on some energies here. Okay, so this is what I'm feeling. Okay, so this person, I feel like, puts a lot of effort into talking to you. I feel like this person puts a lot of effort into flirting with you. I feel like this person tries really hard with you, okay? I do get a sense that they're constantly communicating with you, you know? They're always on their feet, ready to do anything to get you um, in their lives, okay? But I don't think you reciprocate that back to them, okay? Um, I definitely almost am giving, getting some competitive energy, so I definitely think you have your eye on other people, okay? So the person you're asking about is definitely not the only person you have your eye on, okay? And this person can feel it. Um, they definitely can feel that there is some sort of imbalance in the relationship, okay? Um, I do feel like they almost feel like, I don't know, that they have to try really hard to get you, okay? They almost have to compete to get you. They have to, like, win this game to get you because they feel like you have your eye on so many other people, which I do think you do, and this person can really feel that, okay? They can feel that you have your eye on other people, yeah, this relationship is definitely very one-sided at the moment, okay? They are definitely putting in a lot more energy than you are, okay? So, you know, they're definitely very prepared with the Two of Wands to move forward in the connection. And I feel like you just, I don't know if you're just not ready to, but you definitely have your eyes on other people, is what I'm feeling, okay? And so, you're not giving as much energy into this connection, and that person can feel it. They know this, okay? Um, 
they know this, okay? I don't think they've said this to you yet, though. Um, they ha I don't think they've voiced their concerns to you yet, okay? But I will say that that is coming, okay? Very soon, this person is going to voice their concerns that they have about you. I do get a sense that you might get a text or a call, and they're going to ask you about it. They're going to say, I don't understand. I'm putting in a lot of energy. And they're going to ask you, why are you not as focused on growing the relationship? They are going to ask you, okay, they do feel like you are keeping some type of secret from them. And I do feel a strong sense that they are going to ask you about it. Okay, so just be prepared for that. Um, I don't think they have asked you about what's going on or why you're acting the way you are or why you're acting a little withdrawn from the connection. They are going to ask you about that soon though and they're going to want to know what's going on. Okay, so I would be ready for that. Okay, so how do they feel about you? They feel like you're not putting in as much effort as they are and they have not yet voiced this concern to you. They will soon though, okay? So be prepared for that conversation, pile number one. Let's see if we can get some more. This person thinks about you. They stay up at night literally analyzing the situation. This person has sleepless nights thinking about you. I just feel like this person would literally, I'm getting drop everything for you. Like, that is how important you are to them. But I just don't know if you feel the same about them. That's the only thing I'm feeling out of this. I don't know if you feel the same. This person literally has sleepless nights thinking about you. I'm getting a tingling sensation in my head. Holy crap. This person literally would drop the entire world for you. They would drop everything they're doing. They want something so stable with you. They are so ready to commit to you, but you are not ready to commit to them. Holy shit, y'all, though. Like, this tingling sensation I'm getting, like... <sighs> they are so ready to give you everything, I feel like. But they almost feel like they're, I feel like you probably have a lot of people that are interested in you. And they almost feel like this is going to be really hard to get you. Like they're going to have to compete to get you, I'm feeling. I just feel like I heard restless. They literally like can't sleep at night. Okay, let's see. They have no other options. You are the only person on this person's mind. I'm not even kidding. Like, they literally, you are the only person on this person's mind. So if you were concerned that this person is talking to other people, that is definitely not the case at all. Here's the only problem, though. Although this person loves you so much and would give you everything... At the end of the day, they don't think it's going to happen, okay? So they do feel your energy. I do want to say that. So if you've been talking and flirting with other people, they can feel that, okay? That is what I want to say that they're feeling. Um, they are starting to sense that a little bit. Um, I did say that they may voice their concerns to you, um, and they are kind of getting doubtful about the situation. They definitely are starting to feel some doubt about the situation, with you. Yeah. I don't think that this person ever thinks that um, you and them will become something, okay? Um, I, they don't. They, 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 I, I think they would love, as much as they would love to have something stable with you, at the end of the day, they do feel like you're going to choose someone else. They do feel that. I do have to say that. They do feel like at the end of the day, you would choose somebody else. Let me see if I can get some um, cards for you, deck number one. Some romance cards for deck number one. Yeah. They just, they know that you're not making the effort. They can feel that, okay? Y'all, they really can feel that you're not making any effort, okay? And also with reconciling, 
Um, it does feel that you might have your eyes. This is gonna be, I don't know if this is gonna be for all of you, so take what resonates. I do feel like this person that you're asking about is a new person in your life and you kind of have your eyes on an ex, okay? I feel like you are in the midst of also talking to an ex lover, okay? And thinking about going back to your ex. Um, let me see what else I get. And I do feel, yeah, they, I feel like you have flirted with this person, but at the end of the day, this person does not think they're ever going to have a real commitment with you, okay? Um, as much as they would want to, they really want to, but at the end of the day, if you ask them, they don't deep down think they'll ever have a commitment with you. They just don't. Any last cards for deck number one or pile number one? Any last cards? Yeah. And even though they've put so much effort into this, they feel they still feel stuck. Okay, they still feel like it. Ha it's how it was when it started. Okay, they they feel at the bottom of the mountain. They they really don't know what else to do with you. They feel like they've tried everything and nothing is working. And I do feel a sense that they might be about to give up on you. Okay, so yeah, they've invested a shit ton into you. And they, I am feeling, y'all, um, that they are about to give up on this connection. I am feeling that, okay? Because they're looking for something stable, okay? So, and if you're not giving that, them that stability, I do feel a sense of they're, they won't try for much longer, okay? So, take that how it resonates, y'all. But that is what I got for deck number one or pile number one. I hope that resonated with you guys, okay? Um, let me know down in the comments what resonated, what didn't, okay? Please, please let me know. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Um, make sure to subscribe, those of you that picked deck number one, and like the video down below, okay? And turn on the notification bell um, to get notified when we upload again, okay? so. Moving on to pile or deck number two. Hello everybody that chose deck or pile number two. This is going to be your reading, okay? So, oh, there's a card going flying out. Okay, so the question was, how does your person feel about you? Okay, so we are going to figure out how your person feels about you, okay? So, spirit. How does deck number two's person feel about them? So guys, I am gonna pull some tarot and I also have some romance cards here that I am going to be pulling um, just to get some more information, okay? So let's see. How is deck number two's person feeling about them? How is deck number two's person feeling about them? How is deck number two's person feeling about them? How is deck number two's person feeling about them? How is deck number two's person feeling about them? Let's see. How is deck number two's person feeling? Okay, so immediately this is what I'm picking up on and kind of the energies that I'm picking up on. Um, when I first started the reading, um, I heard the word realistic, okay? So it's almost like, um, it's almost like your person feels like this connection was too good to be true, okay? So I am almost feeling with a lot of this pile that you guys live um, far away from each other and you guys were talking and having a good time. And then when it came time to like really put an effort and make a commitment, it's almost like one of you said, is this really realistic? Like, is this ever actually gonna work out? Like some of you, either you or them started doubting the connection, okay? Cause I do see at first it was such a solid connection. I feel like at first it was, you guys started talking. It was very balanced, okay? You guys were flirting, getting to know each other. 
And then it's like someone just suddenly stopped putting in effort, okay? Because they felt like it was never actually going to be real. Um, like at the end of the day, they thought this is never going to work out. So I don't know why that is. I don't know if you guys live far away from each other or it's just like, there's almost like something um, blocking this separation they feel like. They feel like this is impossible. This will never work out. Like they feel like we could never get married, have kids, have a family. Like that would be impossible. For some reason, this person feels like this connection is impossible. And they feel like, they feel so sad about it. They're like, they feel so devastated, okay? But they feel as if it's just easier to give up and move on than to keep trying in a connection that will never work out in the end. Now, I'm not saying the connection's not going to work out. Um, but this person feels like right now that it's never going to work out. It could also have something to do with money. Okay, so I do see this person's finances um, are not the best right now. And they have, they're have they like, I have to be realistic. This could never work because I'm not financially stable. Okay, so um, they just feel like this connection is so impossible. I just heard a brick wall. There's like, you have to break down bricks. You have to tear down a wall to make this happen. And they just are like, would rather give up than to put in all that effort, okay? Let's keep going though. How does this person feel about deck number two? Ooh, too many. How does this person feel about deck number two? They just could never see it, if that makes sense. In a million years, they're just like, we would never work. I don't know why they feel that way, but there's just such a lack of clarity in this connection. And they're like, this would never work out. Like me and you together, like what? Like that would never happen, is what they feel like. They're like, yeah. They're like, me and you together? Yeah, never would happen. I'm also feeling that this person might stop communicating with you very soon. Or they're not communicating with you currently. I do feel a sense that this person might stop communicating with you just out of nowhere. I'm, I'm also feeling that. How is this person feeling about deck number two? How is this person feeling about deck number two? How is this person feeling about you know what's so sad though or not sad but it's just like this person does feel like you two have a good connection okay that's what I want to point out y'all it's like this person does have so much love for you this person does feel like they have such a connection with you but they feel trapped okay they feel like there's some sort of barrier and that you two together, although there's so much love there, they're just like, us two together could never happen. I don't know if it's because of money or family issues, or I don't know what it is, but they're just like, this could never happen. Even though we love each other so much, and they see so much with you, they're just like, we could never work, okay? And here's the thought, here's the thing about it. I feel like you really thought this connection was going somewhere. And it still could. I'm not saying that this is current energy of how they feel. I think they started off and they did invest a lot, okay? And then they just suddenly stopped, okay? I am getting that vibe that if they haven't already, they're just going to like suddenly stop communicating with you. And they're just going to like suddenly stop putting in effort. Let me see. Let me get four more cards, Spirit. Four more cards, please. Oh, too many. Two more cards. Okay, and I, I do have to say this. I am sensing for some of you um, that they feel like they might even have to lie about this connection to their family. Like, it's almost a sense of, like, um, this could be, like... Um, like a gay or lesbian couple and they feel like their family would disown them 
too as well. They feel like they could never be open about this with their family. I am getting that vibe here. Like they couldn't be comfortable in their own home. Um, that is coming through to me. They couldn't... There's a lot of pressure on this person to be a specific way. Their family thinks that they should be a specific way. Or I am getting the vibe that their family thinks that they should um, be with a particular person. Okay? And being with you would be going against their family or some sort of tradition. Okay, so I am getting that for some of you. One more card, please, spirit. Yeah, guys. I am just feeling that this person just feels like this could never work. They try to imagine something stable. They try. They really do. Like at times they can picture it. And then they go right back to that pessimistic outlook of life. This person is very negative and pessimistic. I don't feel that with you. But this person is very negative. It's almost like an unbearing negative. Whoa. This person is just has like an unbearing negative energy about them. Like, they're almost like everything is just bad. Like, a very, like, downer type of personality. Or that might not be their personality, but that's just how they, I feel like, come across a lot of the times. Let's see, can we get any cards for pile number two or deck number two about this connection? See what I'm saying? Family issues. There is something to do with their family not accepting this connection or not accepting this relationship. Okay, so guys, really keep that in mind. There is something to do with them trying to follow a certain image that their family has on them. And they feel like being with you would be going against the image that their family has for them. Any more cards for pile number two or deck number two spirit? they're scared to love you they do love you but they're scared to fully make that commitment because they almost feel like it's wrong in some type of way see because it says your soulmate may differ from your usual type or expectations like his family or her family feels like they have to be with a particular type of person and they feel like you are not the person that their family envisioned for them, which is bullshit, but that's just how this person feels. They're scared to love you because they feel like they'd be going against their family's wishes. It's just they could never see it happening. Okay, so pile number two I'm very sorry. This um, Still keep envisioning what you want out of the connection. If this is divinely meant to happen, then it will happen. But that is currently how your person is feeling about you and your connection. Okay, guys. So we are going to move on to pile number three. Hi, pile number three. Um, or deck number three, I should say. These. This is the... What am I saying? This is the Trippin' Weight Tarot deck. Okay? It's beautiful. It's got like a bunch of colorful um, rainbow colors and it's just really fun. Okay, guys, um, but we are going to see how your person feels about you. Okay, pile number three or deck number three. We are going to see how your person feels about you. Okay, so let's see. How does deck number three's person feel about them? How does pile number three or deck number three's person feel about them? Okay, let's see. How does deck number three's person feel about them? Let's see. How does deck number three's person feel about them? How does deck number three's person feel about them? How does deck number three's person feel? Spirit, please and thank you. Spirit, please and thank you. Spirit, please 
spirit. How does deck number three's person feel about this? Let me just sit here for a second. Okay. So I do have to just say the first thing that I felt and saw from the cards is um, a lot of you watching are asking about this person because you think they have let, you think that they let go of the connection. I just want to tell you, they have not let go of this connection, okay? They still are holding on to it, okay? And they still want it to happen is what I'm feeling, okay? Um... But there is a sense coming from this pile that this person has a lot of inner work to do. They have a lot of inner healing to do, okay? Um, they are very doubtful about themselves, okay? And they have a lot of self-love work to do. They want to be with you, okay? But it's almost like they don't love themselves enough to be with you or they don't think that they're good enough to be with you, okay? So I do sense that if your person has been very emotionally closed off um, and not talking to you a lot or feeling like they haven't been putting in as much effort, I just want you to know that it's not because they don't like you, but it's because that um, they doubt themselves too much, okay? They have a lot of inner healing to do within themselves. So, um, they probably are feeling like um, like a freaking tree in the ground. Like you probably cannot get them to move anywhere. They're like, nope, I'm right here. I'm not opening up. I'm emotionally closed off. That's what it's feeling like. They are stuck and they're like, I'm not moving. They probably don't go out with you. They probably don't talk on the phone. They're like, nope, I'm not doing any of that. And it's like when your relationship starts to feel like it's moving to the next level, they go, whoop. 10 steps back, I'm staying right here, okay? Um, I'm also getting, they're very scared to be vulnerable. So this person has a heart wall that is huge, okay? I'm getting that vibe from this pile. This person's heart wall is built up and they're like, I am not letting anybody in. There is a sense that this person has been hurt in the past and they're like, nope, I'm not getting hurt anymore, okay? They haven't let go, let go of your connection though, okay? So just keep that in mind. Let's see what else we get for pile number three, okay? Okay, they're working on it, y'all, though. They really are. Um, give this some time. This is going to come to fruition. This connection will work out, okay? I do get a very bright, happy future for you guys. Um, I do feel like this connection is going to work out. Um, Right now, they probably are not putting in as much effort. Don't let your ego take over and think, oh, they don't like me anymore. Like, guys, they genuinely have something else going on within them. That's why they're not, like, um, putting in as much effort. Just know that they have not, they did not let go of the connection, okay? And they will start to work on it again, okay? So just give this one some time. Um, I would be patient with this person. Um, they will start to take charge of this connection again. I do get that they will start to put in more effort very soon. Um, so give this one some patience. Um, spirit, pile number three. This pile number three. Yeah, I, I knew that from, I knew that. This person has been heartbroken in the past and they're like so nervous to open up again. They are like terrified that they're gonna get their heart broken again, if you want me to be honest, as well is what I'm feeling. Woo! This person, whoever caused this heartbreak for this person, they made them feel like shit. Like they are so doubtful of themselves. They lack confidence. They lack confidence in their life. This will end. This will end. This will end, I'm hearing. <clears throat> They're going to talk to you. If this person has not told you how they feel yet, they will. Like, this period of stagnancy in the relationship will end, okay? I just want to put that out there. It, it will, okay? So, I would be patient 
with this connection. Yeah, somebody from their past, y'all, really messed them up. Mm -hmm. They, okay. They're gonna get through this. They will heal this, okay? They're working on it currently as we speak. I think they're trying to heal this, okay? Um, they, they, they're going to heal this. I just wanna say that, okay? They're, they're trying here to heal this broken heart. They really do wanna move forward with you, okay? It, it is a struggle for them though, guys, okay? But they're doing it for you, okay? They're working on it for you and themselves, of course, but they do want a connection with you and they're trying to get rid of their demons. They are trying right now to get rid of their demons, okay? Um, I'm also getting the sense that when you came into their life, you gave them a, a renewed sense of passion and motivation to get up in the morning. I'm also feeling that you were almost a bright light in their life. You, I feel like, came into their life right when they needed you the most. You were like the star in their life, I'm feeling, okay? That's... This person really likes you, and they are ready to heal their heart to be with you, okay? So let me get some romance cards on this for pile number three. For pile number three, please and thank you, spirit. Some romance cards for pile number three. Pile number three. Okay, let's see. Pile number three. Some romance cards. Yeah. You have to let go of control issues. This is one of those situations that is going to unfold in divine timing, okay? So be patient. This person is working on healing their broken heart and you need to kind of um, release the pressure on them a little bit because they are going to come around, okay? So, um, you know, you are needing to release the pressure from them a little bit, kind of back up a little bit that's gonna make them come towards you. That's how you're gonna attract them, okay? By backing up a little bit, okay? I'm also feeling that you're needing to envision what you want from this person. I feel like a lot of you um, asking about this person, you're always envisioning what this person doesn't do, what they don't have, what they're not saying. Start envisioning what is good about them and also start envisioning what you want um, them to do and they'll start doing it. Okay, so you are needing um, This pile is needing to envision what you want out of the relationship I feel like a lot of you envision what you don't want. Okay, and that's exactly how you attract what you don't want. Okay um, But I'm not saying completely back up altogether. Okay with the Emperor you still are needing to put in effort um but um, I would say to just talk about lighter things, you know, maybe not talk about emotion so much. Just start the conversations a little lighter, okay? This person will come around when they're ready, okay? But when you kind of pressure them to talk about feelings and how they feel, that just makes them close off more, okay? So when you talk to this person, kind of just try to release control issues and kind of just let it unfold a little more naturally instead of trying to force things out of this person. I also am feeling like some of you need to stop listening to your friends. I just heard that. I feel like your friends are telling you, no, they need to talk to you. They need to open up. You need to cut their ass off. Like, no, do not listen to your friends. Because I feel like whoever's listening to their friends that pick this pile, your friends are coming from a very ego standpoint. Your intuition is telling you what's going on, okay? And then your, your friends kind of get your ego fired up a little bit. Oh, that's not good. I <laughs> don't... Just, you know, make sure you're listening to your own feelings, not what your friends feel. This person will make the effort. I just feel like you need to back up a little bit, okay? It, it'll, they'll come around. Um, as soon as you kind of back your energy up a little bit, I feel like this person's going to come around, okay? Um, I don't know why I'm wanting to see what will the outcome of this situation be. I don't know why. I'm just feeling guy. What will be the outcome for pile number three? 
What would be the outcome? See, like, I feel like you're wanting to pick some sort of fight with this person. I feel like you're wanting to pick some sort of fight. Okay? I feel like current energy of you right now, you're going to pick some sort of fight. Don't do that, okay? Back off of this person a little bit. Because by doing that, you're going to create what you don't want, okay? So try to be a little more optimistic about this situation um, and start envisioning what you want, okay? Because when you come across with like, I feel like when you come across at them and you're like, why are you not talking to me? Why are you not opening up? You know, that just makes them close off more, okay? So try not to do that, okay? Because currently I see that maybe you were going to do that, but fighting energy really does not help this person. It's just going to put you right back where you started, okay? So try to lay off a little bit, okay? I am feeling that vibe. This person is so stuck right now because they feel so much pressure to open, like, let this person heal is what I'm feeling. And envision what you want out of the connection, not what you don't want. Okay? Um, so. Like, I know it's hard. I know you feel left out in the cold by this person, but I promise it's not because that they don't like you, okay? They will come around. I'm just feeling that they will come around. They will press forward. I just heard they will come forward, okay? It's, they're not, this, some of you might not be in communication with this person, but I promise you it's not because they don't like you, okay? So that is what I got for pile number three, or deck number three. I hope that resonated, y'all. Please comment down below um, if it did and what you thought of the reading, okay? Pile number three, please make sure to subscribe down below. Make sure to like the video, click the notification bell so you know when we upload next, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.